morning, everybody, and happy Monday. Today, I have a book for you that has a lot of good rhymes in it. So this book is called Pedro the Brave, and it's by Leo Broadley, and it's illustrated by Holly Swain. So while we're reading this, I want you guys to all think and listen and see if you could hear any rhymes. So remember, a rhyme is a word, two different words, like cat and bat, or sat, pat, mat, that all have the same sound at the end of it, okay? So see if you guys can listen and find a bunch of words in this book that have rhymes, okay? I'll tell you a story of Pedro the Brave that will make all your whiskers go curly. It's about using your wits to keep wolves from the door and why you should go to bed early. It was one night in June with a bright August moon, under the millions of twinkling stars, that Pedro and Dusty Ronnie the horse were dancing and playing guitars. When there in the wood a timber wolf stood, with a tongue that was dripping in red, he came to the fire and sat himself down. It's a fine night for singing, he said. Now everyone knew the wolf wanted meat and didn't, know, and didn't know how to behave. He wanted to gobble the three of them up. It's a good thing that Prejo was brave. I have an idea, Pedro said to his friends, and he made up the stove nice and hot. Then he turned to the wolf and with a bow and said, would you kindly get into the pot? What? Me? cried the wolf. What on earth can you mean? To have such a foolish idea, that I should be dinner for someone else, I do the dining round here. I'll make you a deal, said Pedro the Brave. If I'm going to be the first course, I'll jump in the pan with no fuss at all, if you'll just let me cook my own sauce. I need Tabasco and whiskey and dynamite dust, gunpowder, garlic, and ham, cactus paprika and vindaloo paste, mustard green chilies and jam. Pedro turned to the wolf and he said with a smile, Before I am a part of your diet, just put a drop of this sauce on the tip of your tongue. I'm eager for someone to try it. Now when I say it was hot, it was really hot. It was hotter than flames on your toes. It blew the wolf's socks off his shirt and his pants. It shot flames from the end of his nose. I feel ill, moaned the wolf, and my mouth is on fire. There are bombs going off in my head, and I feel like I've eaten some firework pie. I'll go and eat ice cream instead. Pedro the Brave put some wood on the fire. Now before we all go off to bed, pick up your guitars under the twinkling stars. It's a fine night for singing, he said. And that's the end. I hope you guys all enjoyed our story and found a bunch of rhymes in it too. And I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. I will see you guys tomorrow, and always remember to be responsible, respectful, and safe.